Guys, do you want to know the secret how Novak Djokovic has won the Australian Open and demolished Rafael Nadal in the finals? So we're going to tell you that in this video, we're going to show you that simple strategy, that secretive strategy that Novak Djokovic used. He completely transformed his game in this tournament to completely demolish all the players he played against. And just stay tuned and we're going to show it in a second. So as you, if you watched it or if you didn't, we're going to tell you what Novak Djokovic did in this tournament different that made him so much better. And we all know he's a very consistent player. He plays really well from defense. He got incredible returns. Uh, his serve even got better. Now, this tournament, this guy was stepping inside of the court and crushing those balls and he was staying aggressive. But he did not lose consistency because he didn't increase the amount of power he was hitting on every shot. However, he took the time away from his opponents by stepping in and being inside of the court on the majority of the shots. So we're going to give you drills today you can do on your own to become Novak Djokovic and stay inside of the court in order to beat your opponents. As you can see on those tournaments, Rafael Nadal struggled so much he couldn't do anything against Novak Djokovic. And uh, as you can see, Novak had only 9 unforced errors in the final and 15 total unforced errors in the semifinals and finals. So let's get into the first drills and learn how to become a better player. All right, guys, so a lot of times we all understand, so you know you have to step in and take the ball early, but our instinct tells us, no, you want to go back, and you go back to your old habits, and it's really hard, especially in the match play, uh, to change that. So what we're going to do, we're going to enforce it. We're going to build the muscle memory where you're going to have to be standing inside the court or on top of the baseline and taking those balls early. So we're going to put uh, those cones uh, right behind you, about a couple of feet, three feet behind the baseline. And so you will know, you'll feel that you cannot pass them. So all the shots that are going to come to you, you'll have to stay on top of the baseline and move forward inside. Uh, now our racer is going to come out, he's going to fit the ball slowly just in front of me. So we're going to start with the first step, trying to get used to uh, the fact that we're going to be taking all the balls in front so you can hit a little, fit the ball a little bit higher, a little bit lower, so we're going to work with different heights of the ball. Uh, and after that he's going to move to the other side where he's going to fit the ball with a little bit more pace and we're going to finish doing drills with the live ball drills and see if we can implement what we have been working on on the live ball drills and probably in the matches you'll in improve your game as well. So Aritz is going to come out and he's going to start fitting balls. My goal is never pass this line here and not run to the uh, cones. I suggest not to put something really hard like a barrier because you can actually trip in case if you go back on the first uh, drill or whatnot. So make sure you have something that is a little softer so even if you step on it, uh, you're not going to twist your ankle or fall back. So this is just for safety purposes. So we're going to get ready. He's going to fit the ball and we'll have to stay on top of the baseline. Short back swings. Now, as you can see, I'm not trying to crush completely the ball. I'm trying just to make sure I'm ready early. There you go. That's it. So the purpose of this drill right now is to get set up as quick as we can, turn our shoulders, not back up, and find a way instead of just smacking the ball as hard as we can, we're trying to take the ball down the line or cross court away from our opponent. So now, second drill that we're going to do, uh, our race will be fitting the ball from the other side. The pace of the ball is going to increase. It's going to have a little bit more bounce towards me. Now, the key is the split step. So making sure we're moving off the split step as quick as we can. Very explosive. If you recognize where the ball is going before or at the point of contact when your opponent hits the ball, you can even turn your feet towards the side where you're moving. It will save you some uh, time and you can get there quicker. Making sure recovery has a crossover step uh, so we get to the ball quicker as well to get back to the middle. And making sure we don't have those big backswing. We want to have a short compact backswing but early preparation so we turn as quick as we can so that will allow us to take those balls earlier uh, and before. So let's see how we're going to do here. Here you go. <sighs> Uh, 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 there you go. Uh, 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 
All right, in the last drill, after you accomplish all of that, you start feeling better by stepping in, driving the ball, accelerating your racket. We're gonna do live ball drill right now. So let's see if we can do the same thing on the balls that go everywhere on the court that we're trying to win some points by doing it and see if we can accomplish that. Uh, let's go, Jock. All right, guys, after you practice several times these drills, let us know if it helped you. Uh, you would take a few weeks or two weeks or so, or several practice to do it uh, before you see a tremendous results. Please comment in the link below if you helped you or not. And thank you so much. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.